Hello. Okay, so I am doing another test to the solar charge controller. Um, what I did this time is I put a full charge battery and uh, hook it up. And I'm gonna wait a few minutes to see if I can if I can start seeing uh, amperage coming in. <laughs> In like about five minutes um there is a full sun outside battery is fully charged recently uh recently installed and just waiting what i'm trying to prove here is that when we connect the rv into a shore power the solar charge controller stop sending energy to the battery which makes sense what I'm trying to prove is the time that it takes from uh, the solar panels to kick back after the solar power is uh, uninstalled. So how I'm replicating that is by installing a fully charged battery and waiting. Okay, so finally I see it working. Um, as you can see, there is no power coming in yet. I actually see a small spike that came a few seconds ago before I start the video. So check this out. Look at the voltage in the battery and look at the charge cur uh, the current charge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn a light on and you will see what happened. Turn this on. So now the battery is uh, it's sucking power. Wait a few seconds. And you see how the voltage came down from 13 and some change to 12.05. The current charge is zero. The lights on. And there you go. The amps came in just to compensate for the lack of voltage. So it's working. I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. So what I'm gonna do now it's um I'm gonna turn the lights off. I'm gonna turn the lights off. And see uh, what happened with the charge. See if it spike up or uh, or stay the same. So let's do that. Lights on. Twelve point four. Sorry, I got the RB on storage and uh, lights off. See that 2.5 is actually recharging the battery. There you go. So one is one you reach uh, 13.5, it's just stopped. So it is working. I like it. Let us do some other test. See what happens when we get the radio on. I probably use uh, less power. Radio came on. There you go. See, that doesn't really take too much power. So, it's not significant. I like a light. And those lights take a lot of power. I'm going to use the new uh, LED uh, light bulbs. Go again. Let's try. Uh, let's try the light again. Boom. Let me get the vent in the bathroom. Sorry for the mess, guys. This isn't storage.
There you go. I came in. Got it in the low setting. Spike up to 2.5. Fair enough. Wonder if I get more lights. Let me get stickitos. Boom. This one. This one. And this one. There's one more over there, but I'm just gonna just gonna go with those. That will be one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Five lights and the vent. Ooh, it went down. Quite a lot. Still bringing in 2.5 volts. Uh, I mean, amps. Probably the sun is not enough. That's fair enough. Let's bring this off. That's off. So overall, it's doing what it's supposed to. It's charging the battery. I guess it finds that 13.5.6 is kind of the the happy the happy medium where it stops charging or sending voltage, I mean current to the batteries. I mean I just turned the light slide about a few seconds ago. It's already 2.6. 12.6 I mean fairly uh, sunny outside so it's doing pretty well I'm happy and again you know once it gets into 13.5.6 it stop uh, sending current Like I stated in my previous videos, I put the solar charge controller right there in that spot just to kind of like keep it away from everything else. We got two kids and a pet every time we go out and uh, they run all over. I don't want them kicking the stuff off, especially the cables since they're so sensitive. Um, down here in the pantry, we don't really put nothing but a big box down here. So it wouldn't interfere with anything. Although I was thinking in adding a circuit breaker, like in, like I saw in uh, uh, in another video, I'm I still gonna put that. But I'm gonna put it elsewhere, probably something with ready PC access, maybe like maybe somewhere over here, or maybe in the controls back there. Let's see, I guess I got a little bit more sun. Current is coming. There we go. I'm gonna pause this for a minute and uh come back to you guys when he's uh when he stopped charging or when he's about thirteen point four or something. You reached the thirteen point five. So we'll see if he stopped sending current to the battery. Well, he did. Oh. Right there. I think that's a happy medium for the battery. Let's see how he tried to send some current. What I think he's going to do is just going to overcharge just a little bit. And then just keep it there. Well, there it is. I'm very happy. I am very happy with the 100 watt solar panel and the 20 amps uh, solar charge controller. I strongly recommend it. So uh, get it from Amazon. That's where I got it from. 30 bucks. Uh, 31 and some change, just to be specific. But uh, I put the link below. If you guys uh, ordered it, I mean, it's, it works great. I love it. Uh, and it's cheap. That's <laughs> the best part. So hopefully last, keep you guys posted. If you got any questions, please let me know.